Hey everybody, Jason here with the video question line with GDT Basics. Today we're going to be covering a topic of locating datum features. And today's question from uh, the student is I see datum B, which is an axis, is not located, which follows along with the statement. Why would this feature of size not need to be located? And this is very common on a lot of drawings. Um, let's focus on this feature control frame right here. It's controlling the perpendicularity of this feature of size. This feature of size being a whole feature we can see here in the cross section, we're controlling the perpendicularity of this axis with respect to datum plane A. So datum plane A being that bottom surface there. So if we're controlling the perpendicularity using this symbol, we know we're not controlling location. So nothing controls the location of this hole. It can drift wherever it wants. And that may seem backwards because if this drifts too far this way, it might seem like we're going to have a thin wall here. Well, if this drifts as a datum feature, remember this is being identified as datum feature B with this datum feature symbol here. If this hole drifts, well, this profile is with respect to B. So if this hole drifts this way, in order to pass profile, this profile needs to drift with it. So if we have this hole that drifts here up and to the left, well, this profile also needs to drift up and to the left in order to pass this profile of a call, profile of a surface call out. So this hole as a datum feature is setting the origin. It's setting the locating feature for all other features. So this hole sets our zero, zero, zero for this outside profile. So if it drifts to the right, this profile also needs to drift to the right. If this drifts up and to the right, this hole, which is referencing datum B, also needs to drift up and to the right. So by not locating this, which you would never be able to locate a secondary, or sorry, a primary, secondary, tertiary datum feature, you're never gonna be able to locate them but everything else is located with respect to them. So if they drift in location, everything else drifts in location. And this gets a little tricky to understand when it's an, a feature on the inside of a part, right? A little easier to understand is if you have the outside features of a part, kind of like we're used to seeing an origin in the bottom left corner. Well, we have datum plane A being this bottom surface, datum plane B being the side surface, and datum plane C being over here. So we have a zero, zero, zero down in this corner. Well, we're not locating this bottom corner, it's just the origin. So if we're gonna try and locate this hole, right? We have a location in X and Y, right? So we would never try and locate this corner, it just exists and everything else gets to exist in location to it. So again, we're not locating B or C or A, they just exist and everything else exists in location to them. No different than we were on this example. We're, lo we're saying B, this hole, is the origin. Now everything needs to locate from it. We don't need to locate it because it is the origin. Hopefully that helps clarify things a little bit for you. Again, primary, secondary, and tertiary dat datum features don't have to be located. And oftentimes they won't be located because we're setting up a reference point for everything else to be located too. Our goal is to be your best source for GD&T information online. It's important to us that everyone involved in engineering and manufacturing have the chance to learn and better understand GD&T on your prints. We have many free resources to help you get started on your learning journey. Subscribe to our GD&T community using the link in the description below or visit our website. Test your knowledge with our GD&T and print reading quizzes, download helpful charts, and access articles written by our training experts.